Alright, what's up fellow gamers? I'm going to teach you how to create custom mod packs for uh, Exoroton. If you don't know what this is, it's... If you know Eternos, which is like the free... Yeah, you get 2 gigs of RAM here. Uh, for over here, you just... Credits, whatever. It's basically pay to play, not pay to make your server, whatever. Let's make our server right here. Ignore my username. Nobody wants to see that anyway. We're gonna... We're gonna just, we, just, we just don't care about this. Let's create it. All right, there we have a thing. You can, of course, link your Google Drive account to have your backups. But what we want is the software. So we're going to go into Mod Packs, Custom Forge. Let's say I wanted to get a custom sort of thing of Stone Block 2. So what I do is the Minecraft you go to Minecraft Forge installs. You'd look for the version that is compatible with your mod pack. So if you pop up Curse Forge, take a little bit. I already know that Stone Block 2 works on 2860. Of course, you can also custom install it and have it right in your Minecraft launcher and just point to the game directory. Hold this up right here, Stone Block right there. So we know it's 2847. That's the Forge version that it's on. Of course, you can see this when you go here, 2846. So the reason it's 2846 here is because FTB actually has the rights to Stoneblock 2, and the most recent version is on their own launcher. And what I had my friend do is he just scraped it from their launcher, and we got the actual files for it. So you can just have it there. Now, what you want to do is, of course, get the installer 2847, which it requires right there. I want the installer. I'm going to skip the ad. I have an ad blocker. Sorry. All right. What you want to do is open this up. OK. Install server. You'd want to put it somewhere else. Of course, you'd do a new folder. We'd call it. Forge server. It's going to install the files and holy shit. What the f Jesus Christ. That is a glitch. Install server. It kind of bugged out here. That's interesting. That goes through. Yeah, of course, I'm going to blur all this all out. But if we go into here, there we go. We have libraries, forge, and server, whatever. Drop these into here. It's going to automatically detect the executable, which is that one. You'd want to select, of course, the version you want, which is 1.12.2. Hit install. This is going to go through. While this is going through, get your custom install ready. So mine is, I think it's just in my downloads folder. Of course, you're going to want yours somewhere else uh, to if you want, want to do this. So basically, get it out your get out your folder, full of your mods. Should be this one, right here. So there it is. Configs. You can see all the configs here. The project D chickens, whatever. This enables you to customize your configs, which Xeroton you can't do manually. If you install a mod pack on here, you cannot change any of the files because it automatically updates it for you and if you change them it'll change them right back so they just remove the functionality so you can of course fluid cows there it is let's say I wanted to change fluid cows config I'll just go here Time. so stuff like this Let's say breeding item work. We want this set to true to speed up the things. Remove if true will not work, if false will work. So let's say I want time skips to work on my cows. Bam, I saved it. It's good to go. Anyways, that's how you set it up. You just want to go through, drag in the ones that can be dragged in and the ones that are client side only. You don't want those. So I'd suggest doing this on a fresh install of a mod pack that you haven't played yet in a single player world or else it's going to fuck up and have some logs or whatever. That's the end.
I hope this helped anyone.